Okay, let's go. Salam. Hey, technology app carriers. How can I tell you about that? Did you know that? Zari ba karrab no. Salam sa tiya kyu. To komita tulu doch na ayna tochlay. Yalla chum ni zabi inla kalla. Unko ano desi channel le na mata chu. Yaptar na skip to azaga ja chu. Yan da no tiya ki. Khana ba ba chu wala. Am sa khana sa da chu wala. Sinte na tamanda mata chu. Ma chara shala komita le na thakur mita bkalo. Did you? Laftha ba mab. Ma bala sina la chu. Ahun wada sa dana. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. One, the term generation initially referred only to changes in hardware technology, but now includes software changes. Okay, let's go. Two, first generation computers primarily use transistors for their main electronic component. Three, second generation computers were smaller, generated less heat, and used assembly language. Okay, let's go. Four, the third generation introduced the use of integrated circuits ICs, leading to smaller, more reliable mini computers. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Five. The defining technology of the fourth generation is the microprocessor VLSI LC, which ushered in the PC era. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Six. Fifth generation computers focus heavily on artificial intelligence AI and natural language processing. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Seven mainframe computers are the most powerful and fastest computers, primarily used for complex scientific calculations like weather forecasting. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Eight. A microcomputer is also commonly referred to as a personal computer PC. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Nine. Mini computers are typically larger and more powerful than mainframe computers. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Ten. Digital computers process continuously varying physical quantities like voltage or current. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay. Eleven. Hybrid computers are a combination of analog and digital systems. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's. Twelve. First generation computers primarily supported high level programming languages like Fortran and COBOL. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's. Thirteen. A general purpose computer is designed to perform only one specific task, like controlling a washing machine. Okay, let's go. Fourteen. Fourth generation computers introduce concepts like the graphical user interface, GUI, and networking. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Fifteen. 
Second generation computers introduced the use of magnetic core memory, which was faster and more reliable than the magnetic drums of the first generation. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's